Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having a great day. Don't forget, a free way to support the channel is by leaving a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Paul Tudor Jones, the billionaire investor turned Bitcoin evangelist, said that the path forward from here is north for the crypto asset. He said, I'm not an expert on Bitcoin by any stretch, he told Yahoo Finance, but said that crypto is going to have a crazy rocket ship ride going up and down along the way. His guess, Bitcoin in particular, will be substantially higher in 20 years than where it is right now. That just seems about logical. Relative to gold's $8 trillion or $9 trillion market cap, he said, and God knows how many trillions of fiat currency. Bitcoin's current market cap of $359 billion dollars just doesn't add up, said the hedge fund icon. Tall, tall, Paul Tudor Jones, there we go, is in the news all over the place today talking about that. Here's the actual, uh, what's the word, interview. Uh, it was actually on AOL, which I was kind of shocked because I forgot that AOL was even a thing. Uh, basically talking about that Bitcoin is undervalued. It doesn't make any sense why Bitcoin is so low. Bitcoin's only going to be going up from here. Uh, what have you. This is happening every single day. We're getting this from hedge fund managers, from corporations, from institutions who are looking to get into the cryptocurrency space or who may already have been in the cryptocurrency space. They're all talking about the exact same thing. The narrative before, at least, I mean, last week, it was, <laughs> you know, time doesn't move that quick, uh, was the whole gold thing. And now what we're seeing is kind of this like undervalued um, mantra kind of popping up for Bitcoin. We all know that Bitcoin is completely undervalued. I've been telling you that for a very long time, even when we were at like $8,000. It just doesn't make a lot of sense that we've had. And usually the news that we end up getting about the institutions who are getting into the cryptocurrency space, it kind of leaves our mind very rapidly. So we get news in April that five companies are jumping into the Bitcoin space. But by the time we get to around June, we get news that about five or six have also entered the space, but we forget about the ones from April. Not realizing that this is like a continual, hit my microphone. This is a continual thing that is like really picking up and not even picking up steam is like full force at this point. It's just that uh, the wealthiest are accumulating the most and everyone else will get into the market eventually at some point. Uh, when they're told to do so. Uh, was discussing that, hello, with my friend last night and also just right now on my phone, uh, talking about when everyone else is going to be told to get into the cryptocurrency space. And it's basically going to be uh, when prices get so high that it's unaffordable for other people and you go to your bank saying, I want exposure to Bitcoin in some sort of way and they have a fund that's loosely attached to Bitcoin in some other way so that you are, you know, you're making a good, you know, four or five percent return on your money in the bank that year because the bank has allocated a certain amount of money into the bitcoin space but you're only still getting pennies while they're making trillions same exact thing oh right, here, here we go it says bitcoin tilts higher as pelosi signals stimulus bill by years end. a lot of people are saying that it may be that we have another stimulus package within the united states and if this does happen this will be bullish for the not the U.S. dollar, for Bitcoin, because that means that the U.S. is going to be printing more money, and therefore, relative to Bitcoin, Bitcoin's price will go up, and the value of the U.S. dollar will go down, what have you, so on and so forth. I've seen a lot of news about this. I've seen a lot of speculating as to what's going to happen, as it appears that the effects of 19 may dwindle on for a little bit longer, that it's not just simply going to be gone by February, that there may be then additional packages sometime next year. I'm not sure of how many. I, I think a logical amount. I, I, I won't even say how much I think that people need, but if, if I've been paying attention to the news correctly with all the food banks and stuff like that and all the other things that have been going on with people, I assume we need a couple more checks. Anyway, the point is um, the price of Bitcoin rises appropriately whenever we get news like this now. So the news that we may see another stimulus bill by the end of this year is going to cause Bitcoin to go up. And should we actually receive that we're going to be re receive news that we're going to be receiving multiple stimulus checks in 2021? That's going to be it. Um, also, on top of that as well, um, for those of you who didn't hear, this was also quite popular last night. I, I, I kept on seeing it and I was like, well, you know what? It's here. So why not? Um, Nigel Farage, many of you may not know him, uh, British politician and leader of the Brexit party, proclaimed 
that it could be crucially important that you get your minds around crypto and what it means. He said this during an interview with Crypto Revolution um, on the 27th of November. So it was quite a bit ago, but we're just hearing about it right now. He said it's the subject everyone's talking about, from the poorest to the richest in the land. One of the conversations that are going on is about cryptocurrency. The reason is all too obvious is that the governments are, uh, through 19, creating vast amounts of funny money, debasing currencies, and people are scared of what this means for their money, their investments. Um, we're now getting, I don't want to say politicians, but we're still getting a lot of very prominent people, I guess you could call them politicians, also like members of parliament and stuff like that, who are slowly trickling into the news talking about um, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, what this does and what ends up happening is, is that regardless of what your affiliation might be, if someone hears someone with this much influence talking about Bitcoin, people who do listen to their words are going to start then also buying into Bitcoin as well. It says Brexit party leader calls Bitcoin ultimate I don't know if I can even say half of these words because of the algorithm. The point is, um, it's fascinating to see how quick this is happening. I assumed it would take years for us to actually even get to this point. Uh, but I read before that people think that everything that's been happening this year has been accelerated because of 19. So we are apparently a lot further along than many other people thought that we, we would be at this point. But it's interesting to see the levels of adoption and how many people are openly now coming forward and saying, hey, this is absolutely amazing. You should be getting into it. You should be looking into it. Because even if just five people end up buying, you know, that also, I'm sure it's a lot more than five, but um, you get what I'm saying. Here's the actual interview right here between the two. Um, and what's this one? Yeah. Um, there wasn't much price news today, like at all. The the price news, if you will, were the other things that I just went through. Uh, the main thing was Paul Tudor Jones. And after that, there was really no Bitcoin price news. There was a lot of like uh, altcoin price news. Like this one says, XRP is primed for rally and only one thing is holding it back. I saw the same thing multiple times for Ethereum, talking about Ethereum 2.0 and how the staking continues and it look, it's, looks, wow, it's looking really good. And we're waiting for cryptocurrency exchanges in mass to say the date that they're going to be supporting this, how much you can deposit, yada, 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 their staking pool names etc. There was some news for Cardano, but it's basically usually around the exact same thing. It's about this. This coin is doing well. It looks like it's going to do weller. I know weller is not a word, but you understand what I'm saying. So anyway, that's all the price news, if you will. Uh, I guess you can tie the price news into people talking positively and optimistically about Bitcoin. And without further ado, uh, let's move on. One of the more popular newses of the day. Joining the tech and financial services bigwigs in the payment revolution, Spotify too is going the crypto way. The Swedish audio streaming and music service giant just put up a job offer for an associate director, payments, strategy, and innovation. The desired candidate will play a key role in navigating the company's payments rudder through the cryptocurrency ecosystem. As per an official job opening that Spotify just posted, the company is looking for an associate director for their payment strategy and innovation team. That said, individual, there we go, would report to the director of the same team and will be instrumental in Spotify gaining a considerable foothold with integration of cryptocurrency payments according to the description. Here's the actual job description payment page application thing right here. Um, so the news is that apparently Spotify is looking to get into crypto payments. I give it by next summer. Uh, but by the end of next year, we will have hundreds of more companies who are going to be announcing their support for Bitcoin and or we are accepting Bitcoin and or other cryptocurrencies as a method of payment. Um, I've seen in the comment section yesterday when I was looking around, uh, good job to everyone who's also been uh, screaming at the, the the fake me's, if you will. There's so many people who keep, um, one of them I saw yesterday, they had to rename themselves. <coughs> it was like the 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 Morden investor or something like that, but it still had my channel's logo. So <clears throat> if you see any of them, just of course ignore them or just scream at them, whatever makes you feel better. Um I saw someone saying like all is all all it really will take is for Apple or Amazon to really say that they're getting into the Bitcoin space and that's kind of like that is that's all we really need. We had speculation before that it was eBay, Apple, Amazon and someone else were thinking of getting into the crypto space, but that was like 2017. So I assume the conversations are happening behind the scenes, but apparently right now as it stands, 
Um, Spotify is looking to get into crypto payments. I assume it'll be the usual suspects. It'll be Bitcoin, Ethereum, maybe Bcash, Litecoin, potentially XRP. And I wouldn't be surprised if at some point in the future we start seeing them accepting stable coins. But I think the reason for them not... <clears throat> Accepting stable coins has to do with they don't really want stable coins. They don't really want a form of digital fiat. They want you to give them Bitcoin for their service so that when Bitcoin does a 30, 40 X, they're the ones holding Bitcoin and not the tether that's still showing as one US dollar. Anyway, that's the Spotify crypto news. Like I said, I give it by next summer. This person will be hired and we'll start hearing about uh, Spotify doing all this other stuff. It's, it's, it's only a matter of time. Like, it's not like it's not going to happen. It is definitely going to happen. It's just a matter of when in the future this event will take place. Let's move on. In adoption news, everything else is, is adoption news. Um, private German bank Hakund Aufhäuser is launching a cryptocurrency fund in January of next year. According to an announcement on Thursday, the HAIC Digital Asset Fund will be aimed at institutional clients, rich people, and hold a number of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ether, and Lumens. In the, the, minimum, the minimum investment will be 200,000 euros or 243,000 US dollars. Frankfurt headquartered Hakun Hoyza said it has seen digital assets and cryptocurrencies become increasingly attractive to institutional investors. Here's the uh, press release right here. It says Hakun Hoyza, Hakun Aufhäuse und Kapilendo starten erst in crypto funds. So they're starting their first cryptocurrency funds. Um, cool. I, I, I wish I could fake being surprised at this point, uh, but it's almost impossible. Um, every single we also have, we also had news at the beginning of this year all the German banks who were getting into the cryptocurrency space and and I and I wish we had more news about that because the news completely fell off dramatically once everything about 19 started popping up but remember the first day when 40 German banks signed up immediately and then we heard nothing else because 19 I mean you know, not like I mean I, I guess I am blaming 19 I was like I'm not gonna blame 19 I I, I, I totally am but um, sure. This only makes a lot of sense. They are trying to figure out every single possible way to get into the cryptocurrency space or have other people get into the cryptocurrency space or give them money, whatever the actual case might be. These are going to continue. These aren't going to stop. Um, I just, I, I guess I like seeing news about them. I just always wish that more people, like normal people, got into the space. Uh, the I watched something last night and it was like something about like getting out of the rat race and they were going through the numbers and how difficult things have been for people this year. Uh, but it came down to the fact that, that that's mainly because, not the entire reason, but because people didn't save before in the past. No one expected there to be like a rainy year. Uh, people don't have uh, emergency funds. People don't save any money. People buy things that they don't really need. They buy tons of clothes. They buy all these things. So um, I hope this year becomes like a, a bit of a lesson for a lot of people to start saving and stuff after because... Think of all the money that could have been put into the cryptocurrency market. Whatever, I'm going to continue on. It just it does, that's an entirely different topic. Moving on, I think this is the press release. What's this one? Yep. Also in adoption news, investment companies in the digital asset space are making it easier for crypto adoption with the introduction of easygoing products. That's a weird sentence. Today, a Switzerland-based company known as Valor informed about the launch of its Bitcoin exchange traded product, which will allow both individuals and institutional investors to gain exposure to the underlying asset in the same way as investing in a share or an exchange traded fund dubbed Bitcoin Zero. The crypto ETP has been listed on the Nordic Growth Market Stock Exchange, which is based in Stockholm. As the Bitcoin ETP trading is scheduled to begin later today. Okay, that was quick. The Switzerland company noted that it did it debuts as a feeless product. This means that Bitcoin Zero traders or investors do not need to worry about management fees associated with holding such ETPs. That's like the third thing that we've gotten this week where someone has launched something against Bitcoin or next to Bitcoin, whatever the case might be. But it's like feeless. There's no fee. You pay no fees. I, I, I wonder why that's popping up so much. I mean, it sounds attractive. You know, no fees, no fees, no fees. But you have to then wonder how they're making their money behind the scenes. Like they're not just giving you this thing completely for free. Like you have to pay for it and then that's it. Like there's, of course, some type of something associated uh, behind the scenes. Anyway, um, uh, Switzerland company has launched another Bitcoin something. Switzerland has been incredibly crypto friendly. 
I'm not surprised that all these things keep launching, that all the Swiss banks are also into the cryptocurrency space as well. They were some of the first banks in the world who were telling people how amazing Bitcoin was and how great it was going to be. There was some video I saw, it has to be over a year now, time flies so quickly. It was this guy, he said he didn't grow up rich. And he said he lived in Switzerland, he had like a little bit of money, he heard about Bitcoin in like 2011, he put a whole, like all of his money into it. And became like super mega wealthy. But like when I was watching this video, they were showing him he had like basically like bought an entire building, had rented the entire thing out like to himself kind of and had a whole bunch of people like basically working on Bitcoin things and mining and trading and stuff like that. So um, this is where the money will flow because they already have, I think, nearly all their regulations and things in place for the cryptocurrency space and taxation and yada yada. Um, don't be surprised if we keep getting more Swiss bank news about what's been happening. I think this is the, yep, here's the actual press release for it right here. Valor launches world's first fee-free Bitcoin exchange traded product. And let's move on. And to finish things off, and I could not get away from this news, S&P Dow Jones Indices has today announced that it will launch cryptocurrency indices, of course, in 2021. The products branded under the S&P Dow Jones indices name will re reportedly use data from Luca, a New York-based virtual company, currency company on more than 550 of the top traded coins. That's going to be very interesting that they choose so many of the coins. The move could conceivably make it easier for investors to access cryptocurrencies as an asset class, which in turn might reduce some of the volatility seen in the crypto market today. Everywhere, all over the place, S&P Dow Jones to launch two crypto indices in association with Luca. S&P Dow Jones indices to launch cryptocurrency indexes in 2021. It's clear that the money is here. It is, it is no longer a question of when they're going to enter the space. They have taken over. Is that Bitcoin on fire? That's a weird photo of these. Oh, it's like a it's like a chart, but it looks like a The point is, the big money's here. The big money is here to stay. They're trying to gather up as much Bitcoin as humanly possible. And I I don't know. I I don't have mixed feelings about it, but I feel like something really insane is going to take place. Whether that's the collapse of the US dollar and the effect that that's going to have on the rest of the world's economy because we look at it kind of I, I, I dare say one-sided. We are in the cryptocurrency space. We stand to profit from the demise of the dollar in this way. But then you think about the, the 6 billion other people who won't be profiting from it or who have no cryptocurrencies or simply don't know about the market or what's actually going to be taking place in the supply chains that have broken down and the other things that are going to be crumbling and if the stock market also falls. So it's kind of this really weird... This is what I mean. Like It's, it's this um, catastrophically happy event uh, the rise of Bitcoin to 300000 the rise of XRP to fifteen twenty dollars the rise of Ethereum to $30,000 coincides with the dollar collapsing and the stock market collapsing. And also our market doing exceedingly well, but how few people are actually in our market? Like I said, we will profit, but it's, um, someone was asking the other day, uh, <laughs> Uh, they were like, "Why does he keep? Why does he keep mentioning the word citadel?" And I and I read it, and I was going to respond, and I was like, "No, I'll just uh, I won't." Um, it's yeah. Um, anyway, the point is, it's rather even even though it makes logically a lot of sense why they're in the cryptocurrency space, it's still sometimes not rattles or jitters me, but I still sit there like, this is all happening so fast and they're accumulating everything so quickly. There won't be anything left for anyone else. I, I don't know. I, I, I think I try to... I don't even know the word. I like the idea of everyone having something, but we've gotten to the point where only a few are going to be... I mean, listen. Anyway, that's the uh, news for today and I'm just going to move on because... I'm 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 not in the mood to do like a a 90 minute rant where I like I black out and then I come back and I'm like what was I just talking about? Sorry if I also sound weird today. I like slept on the wrong side of the bed. I I can't really explain it like I was so tired last night and when I finally fell asleep I like slept like a rock and I don't mean like like you know like you know all snug. I meant like I felt like a boulder like even in the middle of the night, like trying to like turn over to the other side. I was like no I don't want to and it was just like really really heavy sleep so. I think I'm still in the midst of that because for those of you who don't know, I, I wake up, I roll out of bed, and I start making videos. 
uh, which I have a lot more to do today. Look forward to another um, Money Rules video and maybe a second video on this channel. There's been so much cryptocurrency news, it's impossible to cover all of it in one video. So this is why um, I'm making like two or three videos a day because it's just, in, it's impossible not to cover all of it. Or rather, you get what I'm trying to say. As always, a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters, Professor Wally from Gunbite University, George Montoya, Wiselink, not TMI, gotcha, uh, Conan, Don't Skip Leg Day, Snacky Chan, Tolik Banan, Auspicious Agile and Blockchain, Navarro Williams, David James, Attila The Han, Yasha Harari, Oscar Maldonado, Utopia 569, Moonman High, XRP, Joshua Vineyard, Martin Stoyer, Nostromo, John Sarson, The Animal Reader, A Bibliophobia, Todd Mullis, Adam Grasick, Moher Maroney, Master Ventures in Thailand, Jared Schneider, Wise Night Owl, 242 to the World, Bank Roll Network, Crypto Artist, Coldy 3D, Damien Setsuna, Richie Rich III, Vlad the Impaler, Paxis, Nick Mangialavori, Anthony Charles, Jim Gardner, Jeremy Fox, Minting Coins, Miller Hitch Test, Everyday and Cow Skips Leg Day, Yes to Crypto, Bodie McBoatface, Anytime Fitness, Monks Corner Staff, Arf Medic 17, Bake Me a Cake, <laughs> love that one, Tigger Macho Nisa, Own Crypto with Lionel, Crayola Michelle, URL, and Bolero Bastos. Thank you all very, very much for your support. Thank you to everyone who is a member of the channel. Thank you to everyone who is a clicker of affiliate links. And thank you to everyone who has liked the video. You're all absolutely spectacular. At the moment, Bitcoin is currently at 19,411 US dollars. Uh, last night, or even a couple of hours ago, Bitcoin hit, it was 19,612 or something like that. And then it's a little dip right here. And this is why we are almost basically back up to where we were before. A lot of people, I mean, we came relatively close multiple times this week to passing by 20,000, which is the barrier that we're trying to push by. But, uh, we keep getting rejected, which isn't a rejection. It's just people selling off so that they can buy up on another cryptocurrency exchange. Um, everything is following this exact same trend. We're going to see during the rest of the day where this ends up taking us. Anything significant? BSV is up by 8% because, you know, scams are very easy to pump sometimes. NEM is up by 13%. And I, I don't, I, I don't, I just don't know why because there's never any NEM news. There must be something behind the scenes that we're just not privy to. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Anything else insane? Waves is up by 7%. Theta is up by 9%. Omise Go is up by 9%? Question mark as well. Um, yeah. We'll see. The crypto market's ridiculous. Like every single day, it just gets crazier and crazier. I do hope that you all enjoyed. I do hope that you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope that it is absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching and or listening, and I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.